Hi everybody, um, today I wanted to uh, help you and everyone uh, study the porn industry and see uh, basically what exactly is going on. Basically, uh, the porn laws uh, vary a lot and I was actually very surprised. Um, but basically, uh, in North America and South America, porn is generally illegal. Um, in Asia, porn is in general not legal. Um, and also uh, in Africa, for the most part, um, it is not legal. So uh, one way to think about this is basically porn is for white people. Um, kind of a shocking statement, but uh, for starters, um, you would have to say that uh, basically the legality of porn is uh, primarily uh, in the West, in North America, Europe, and in Latin America. Um, there's a bunch of different rules, uh, but in many of these countries, you can uh, go to jail for many years. Um, it can be illegal to possess porn, uh, and uh, in many cases, uh, porn is blocked um, or uh, restricted. Um, and you can check out this Wikipedia page called uh, Pornography Laws by Region, and uh, that would kind of give you some details on each country. Um, and they also do have uh, some other details uh, in addition that you can take. There's a Cisco paper that I've been uh, kind of trying to study here. It's called the Global 2021 Forecast Highlights. Um, and if you search for a video, um, you'll see a section that comes up here. <clears throat> And I kind of took out uh, the sections that were most interesting. So uh, here it's saying that uh, global IP video be 82% of all IP traffic, up from 73%. Um, again, it says 84%, so they got some different numbers here on different parts of the papers. Um, and uh, then they also get into uh, business traffic as well uh, so the real question though is that so if, if you start doing these numbers so if let's say it's 84% is the amount for video right and then you have Netflix being a contributor here right so Netflix is about 12.6% and then you have uh, YouTube Right, um, and YouTube, uh, uh, I think they said Google holds the most popular site, 84 million. So something like 25%. So the problem here is that numbers don't quite add up. If you subtract this from this and this, uh, you basically have 50% uh, of the entire internet traffic still uh, video related, but it's not Netflix, it's not YouTube. What is it? Um, so there's probably video streaming um, and a variety of other things. So the question is, we already know that something like 15% of the searches are a porn directly, but then is there people that are just afraid to search on Google for privacy reasons? So the question is, is it could be upwards of 30%. Um, given that, uh, you know, so basically we're saying for sure, search searches are 15% and then we have the remaining uh, 50%. So something could be anywhere between 15 up to 30 or even 50% of all the internet traffic. Um, so that's a fairly probable number. Um, and we don't really know precisely uh, what the number is yet, but uh, that's uh, one estimate. To understand here is that, uh, for example, uh, India here it says partially legal, some restrictions. Um, so uh, the problem here is that internet pornography has become very popular with 30% up to 70% of the total traffic from porn websites in a major portion of traffic data, blah, 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 telecom. Popular site released Delhi recorded up to 40% of all traffic being porn. So uh, going back to that number, it would suggest that if, uh, I mean, okay, so maybe Indians are 
more interested in porn, uh, but uh, you know the laws are saying uh, different things even on these maps here. Uh, so is it 70%? Is it 40%? Uh, these are some numbers that uh, look pretty pretty much uh, a lot of porn. Um, but uh, you can do pornography in each country, and then I have a different link for it. But So that would suggest that even in the United States, it could be upwards of 50%. Here it's saying up to 70% of the total traffic from porn. Uh, might depend on hour of the day. Uh, and other data uh, for this particular source. Um, yeah, this looks like the uh, source is down here, uh, but uh, so we don't really know uh, uh, getting actual data for uh, the porn industry. Um, so essentially what I had to do is go to Google Trends here and uh, essentially uh, start uh, kind of hacking away to see uh, what the data is. Um, so what you're looking at here is kind of the spreadsheet data that I downloaded um, and kind of the industry. So how I got these terms here is that these are the most popular search terms for pornography on the internet worldwide. Um, and you can see this goes back about 20 or 15 or so years and you can kind of see what's been going on, right? So some of the data uh, may or may not be perfectly correct. Um, for example, the search term sex, porn, XXX, X videos, or XNXX. So you can kind of see uh, different websites kind of come online and start to show up. Um, but in general, here's the sex keyword. So you can see that it's been pretty solid. Um, now, surprisingly, you can see a sudden drop here uh, in the last two years in the keyword sex. And actually, um, for XXX, which is more explicit uh, uh, <laughs> porn, uh, basically you can see that that's always pretty much been increasing except for around 2017 when it dropped here. And you can see in general that there was also a drop in the porn industry in general around 2013. So to me, of all this data, I would have to say just the word porn is a pretty important uh, key search word. It was even more than even sex. People were typing that in more than sex uh, starting around 2012 and then something happened right around here. Uh, so 2013 is an important time frame, and then you can see a lot of these websites kind of coming online around 2012 uh, in terms of uh, actual uh, mainstream porn websites like we're familiar with. Um, and uh, you can see that uh, another interesting surprising fact here is that like a website like X videos is kind of stabling off here and even maybe even going down while another website like this kept going up and then now so the question is is that perhaps around in the last few years uh, live cam streams and other things have become more popular so this data to me is is helpful but um, it doesn't tell us everything about the porn industry. It just gives us some ideas. Um, going on with specific websites in the porn industry. Um, if you look at the search terms, uh, X videos and XNX is pretty much uh, two of the top uh, websites. And you can see that these uh, websites here get over 5 billion visits a month. Uh, so there's only say 8 billion people, so that's uh, five out of eight. Uh, you know, it, it's basically, uh, you know, 75% or so of, of all the visits uh, could be porn related. Um, so uh, these are kind of run out of a Czech Republic, Prague area. Um, and you can see uh, they got a little sample thing here, uh, and uh, uh, but just a quick uh, info. Uh, the porn industry, we also have to think about the internet user distribution. 
Um, so, you know, the legality here is also a factor. So Asia, primarily porn is illegal, but uh, there's also the question of other people trying to get access to porn in alternative ways. Um, so I don't really know what the exact numbers are. I don't think anyone really knows. Um, so you have to kind of estimate. Um, they also have Facebook numbers on this excuse me, on this website uh, that is helpful, but uh, a couple surprising numbers is just that uh, Europe has more internet users, and as a result, you'd also imagine that porn is actually maybe even bigger in Europe, um, and uh, even uh, much bigger even in Latin America. Uh, so it's hard to say by age because Europe is older, uh, and so even though it has say 14% of the internet users and say 7% or so are in North America, it may be that uh, who knows what's happening with older adults um, versus uh, people in their 20s or 30s. So uh, there's just a lot of data here uh, that you can look at to kind of get some of the uh, in general numbers. Um, the uh, Google Trends data, you can uh, sort it by interests. And, you know, basically we see that the sex and essentially XXX is perhaps the most. So if we go to just straight out XXX, uh, you can see that Thailand here is perhaps the biggest uh, in terms of percentage, right? So you can see that uh, you know, they're just searching for XXX here, Bolivia, Mexico, Argentina, and Pakistan. Now, if you change this over to sex, which is an English term, primarily, you can see Vietnam showing up here, Poland, um, so Eastern Europe, and then uh, Turkey and Malaysia and Philippines, right? And then there's specific websites, um, I'll just do X and XX. So you can see that almost everybody here in Northern Africa, Egypt is kind of doing uh, some X and X searches uh, and Austria. So, uh, and then you can see in general for porn, uh, again, being an English word uh, showing up here and actually even being more popular in the United Kingdom. Uh, so that would kind of suggest because the United Kingdom and is an older country as well as Ireland that porn is maybe even more popular for older people than uh, younger people. Um, so that is something to think about there. Uh, on the X video side, you can see that uh, Brazil is starting to show up as a huge, uh, so basically Latin America, and then also Japan um, and Argentina and Mexico. So this is just basically per uh, keyword, and you can kind of see what's going on there. But uh, then you can see just the maps per region. Uh, again, you can see X video starting to show up primarily in Latin America here, and then porn uh, and different uh, different words. So you can see HD showing up a lot here and stuff. So people just basically wanting as much video as possible so uh anyway so that, essentially what the top uh websites are in the world uh for porn um kind of the way to reverse engineer this and figure this out is looking for the keywords in search terms right so you basically have x x and X, X videos, and then you have just general searches here, right? So as you scroll down here, you can see uh, you have uh, basically what's going on here. So X hamster is pretty big. U porn is pretty big. And so on. Free porn. <laughs> different websites like that. So... Uh, what you can do is then you can go over to Wikipedia and search for them, and, you know, X hamster and see basically who's running it and, uh, you know, and, and basically see some more details about what's going on. Uh, but you can
can see uh, there's a number of other ones uh, also listed uh, here as well. A map just showing again internet usage but not necessarily for porn. Um, so we kind of have to narrow this down, uh, but basically you can see about 51% of all the users being in Asia and some other numbers here, uh, you know, 10% maybe for Latin America. So the surprising thing is there's actually more, it's probably just more porn in general uh, in Latin America and Europe is primarily, and in fact Europe is uh, heaviest for porn. Uh, in terms of also when you look at legality, but then when it, with the raw numbers, perhaps still Asia is still uh, the main. It'd be helpful to see uh, perhaps almost everyone is using Chrome and also Safari. Um, and then in terms of the operating system, you can uh, do that as well, and they can show you the data there, but I'm offline right now. So anyway, but in general, uh, Android is a major player for uh, the porn industry and mobile app. Is internet traffic uh, by day of the week um, and hour of the day. So to make a long story short, um, this is not really sorted by porn uh, necessarily. So this is just all internet traffic. So uh, there is a guess here that perhaps porn uh, would start uh, after, you know, say six o'clock or so. Um, but there is another question about possibly uh, an area around one o'clock here or afternoon, um, and then even in the peak area here around, say, 10 o'clock. So um, there's just basically a couple key areas that we would have to look at. So um, Again, these are this area is here, and then this area here. So these blips, we basically have this blip here uh, at 10, and then we have a blip around 2, and then we have a blip around 9 o'clock here, right? So uh, basically those three areas uh, would be the ones that we would look at most carefully where uh, the porn is going on but you'd have to have probably electricity and the internet so if you look at this open infra map it's primarily electrical grid map uh, and you can kind of see that uh, basically uh, you know where there's both people and electricity you would have uh, potentially uh, porn so uh, it's not a porn map necessarily directly but uh, but it is in some senses so uh, just helpful to take a look at this if you need it. I was looking for top keywords and you can kind of see here that surprisingly, uh, so some of the most top uh, searched uh, words on Google is Facebook, YouTube, Google itself, uh, which you say is kind of funny, but then you have X and XX and X videos. So basically these are the top, e even in the top 10, uh, there are three of them are uh, pornography related so that would be at least 30 percent uh right there of the search traffic um and we could probably even estimate it uh, more precisely by doing the global search volume and then uh estimating that based on what these search terms are and i'll go here is that right below this is pornos for the 11th so i just took the top 11 here um, summed them up for uh, porn related ones and then also did uh, regular searches here so basically it's about 15% uh, of all these searches are porn related so it's the first time I've ever seen that number um, personally uh, I mean it seems possible uh, it could be way more than this uh, as well, uh, so I, I don't know exactly, but we know for certain that it would be around at least 15%, 16%.